This feels weird. Really weird. Unfortunately, this create episode has to be sort of different from the others, as some idiot decided to not check his OBS to make sure the actual game sounds were recording. It's me. I'm the idiot. What doesn't help all of these is that I recorded these late at night because I was just in a Minecraft phase and I just wanted to keep on playing because because I was just having fun. And slowly getting to the actual create mod. But expect to hear voiceovers most of the time, or else this would have just been pure background music as the gameplay is just there. Also, I also am gonna say this right now, don't feel bad about not watching this episode because even from my own point of view, it just seems to be filler. Like I'm trying to make it entertaining in a, in a way, but I don't know. <laughs> I just hope this comes out good. Alright, I'll see you soon. Something bad, in a great way, just happened. And this is going to be bad news for my health. I was saying this as a joking way. But great news for you guys. I'm starting to get back into this 100%. Because uh, I just created something and... Uh, it's... It, I'm, I'm, I can feel myself getting addicted back to create again. So basically, off, on stream... On stream, I uh, I started working on stuff because I'm like, oh hey, as I said before, I need that storage unit. But I kind of need it now before I do anything else, before I do any exploring, before I do any collecting or anything, before I exploring. And immediately I'm like, okay, I have no idea what I want to do for my kind of storage unit. So I started pondering, and kind of said to myself, hey, there was a Momo Jumbo video I watched a long time ago, back when he was testing out the create mod, and he made a storage unit. And on the personal world, personal world, on a personal server, I used it when me and my friends were playing uh, with the create mod and other stuff. And I look back at footage I had, because that footage is all the way back from 2021. And... Funny enough, it's around June, where this was made, and I'm currently recording this in June. And that just got me thinking. What if I just recreate this again, but like, make it a little bit better? Because I, look I looked at the way I made it, and it was pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. But... There was just a few things horrible with it. When I would use it, I... It was really easy to store things in. Just put stuff in a chest and it would just adapt. I had a mechanical arm to store everything for me on its own. And it worked out great. I basically had stuff organized for me and everything. However, there were some downsides. And... One of the downsides was... It was organized, but not labeled. There was no way I could label it. And with the way items were being inserted, I couldn't really access the chest. So I had to make things extra complicated and made a whole ch uh, huge piston system that would go down and back up whenever I need to access the chest with the press of a button. It was fun, but there were so many times I would just have to go back and forth, back and forth, seeing which labels were where and everything. And I kind of just don't want to repeat of that. So... I decided to go to my build test world and uh, remake it again in a more better way. So as you can see this is the schematic and if I place it here, let's make it so it's at least readable. And as you can see, it's decently simple actually. The only thing that's going to be really expensive is the cost of the andesite funnels. Something tells me I don't have enough andesite. But yeah, mechanical arms, three mechanical arms, it's easy to access the chest. Each one fit for its own label. They're all double chests and everything. And while I know I do have these, these just feel like a pretty easy answer to a pretty huge problem. <laughs> and I want something, it's a Korea mod, I kind of want something amazing. So I decided to fit it and make it so it auto switch on its own and gets everything done for me. 
I no longer have to organize my own stuff, because... Let's face it, I'm bad at organizing. And if I don't have to organize, that's more time spent in the fields and caves. Now, when I wanted to make this storage, I ran into a small problem. I needed a quartz and I was running low. And I was really dreading going back into the nether. But I didn't run into any crimson mosquitoes, giving me a huge breathing room, salvaging, and just collecting what I left behind before. Okay. After moving back and forth once again between my old house and the new one, I decided I really need to start the create mod because uh, we're 7 episodes in and I just need to get started on it. But then I ran into another issue. Space. So I decided to tell myself what's the point in waiting now. So I decided to get started on my work area place? Workshop? F. I'll go with an industrial workshop. Now luckily in another world I created a skamic for an elevator I needed, and I had the materials for it, I just needed to make it. I've been recording for the past 14 minutes and just not realized. <laughs> uh, whatever. Okay, so I need to get some basic enchanting done because there's no way my diamonds are gonna last if I just keep using the same unenchanted diamond pickaxes. So I need to craft a quick enchanting station, which I'll probably put in my attic for now, but it's not gonna stay there. To distract myself from building a bit, I decided to enchant my pickaxe. But uh, at some point, I remembered about something, and I kind of got distracted. No! Okay. Focus on me. Focus on me. I have thorns. Okay. One book too. Or one emerald. Wait. There's a way I can transport these guys. I need to create stuff. Yeah. Now, if I get him here, I can breathe safely that he's going to be safe over here. Because... I mean, then again, all of them are trapped right there, but I don't think I've gotten a villager death screen here. Not counting the ones from before. What are you doing up there? Oh. Oh.
Oh, I need bugs too. Damn it. Well, I mean, the thing is, I did resin, so hopefully. It's. Oh, I need bugs too. Damn it. Well, I mean, the thing is, I did resin, so hopefully. Yes. By the way, don't get excited with me about this guy. There we go. Because right after I place him down and just let him roam free, he just disappears. I don't know how or why. Where did the villager go? But it's just like he never existed. Where'd he go? I don't like the fact that I don't know where he is. Hold on. <laughs> I even tried applying the glowing effect on villagers and there was just like no trace of him. He was just gone. Just nothing. Nothing was left of him. Is that where he went? No. That's where he went. What? No, that's not. Is that him? No, that's a mason. That's a different villager. That's him! That has to be! No, that's a nitwit. And that just kind of left me like really bummed. Okay, that actually really bummed me out. Man, dude. I'm gonna have to make a specific spots for uh, villagers, huh? And the thing is, I wanted, I made this, but it's just so they could be like running around and everything. I don't want to keep them down in like a hall or anything, but I think I only have to do that. That bums me out a lot. The main reason I had that village. But as bummed as I was, I decided to go in and chat myself like I was planning to do. There we go. Now the only true thing is getting levels, which isn't really a problem. I have plenty of that. Not right now. I mean, as in held. But I want to store it. <laughs> I need to get this little place ready first. And I'll craft a new pickaxe. What I'm aiming for is either unbreaking or efficiency. That's it. Uh, I'll take it. Anyway, after dealing with all that, might as well go back to building the industrial workshop. But this is a whole ordeal in it of itself.